We need to move. Reconnaissance. Let's get to the prison and check. We need to scout the area. Otacon. What's the status on the landing zone? What are the coordinates for the LZ? I need to get to the extraction point. Call Merrill. Let's go. Spike has a bad turn radius. I need another vehicle. Huh. I know that guy. I've seen him before. I've seen his face. Hmm. What's going on? It seems like those women are trying to seduce that cop, but so are those men. It looks like they're fighting over a sexual identification. I wonder what his pronouns are. Seducing the police. That can only be one thing. Something's about to go down. They're trying to distract the police, but for what? We'll have to find out. Ha ha ha! What a fucking freak! Wow, you were You're even not more even capable like of driving. Than before. You're, You're not even talking talking capable shit. of driving. And you're not even capable of breathing without that stupid fucking mask. You watch your back. Oh, I w no, he doesn't have to. Because I'm watching it for him. Hey, what's going on, pal? Wow. Are you also slobbing on the dick? Or is that just the way your mouth smells? Dirty bastard. Okay. As a matter of fact, I don't brush my teeth. Hmm. So be it then. Fucking crusty. Call me what you will. Ugly. Zuchia, Jones. Raiden, it's me. What's your status? Well, I'm actively hanging out behind the bink cage. What's going on? I was there recently. I saw four individuals trying to seduce a police officer. I'm not sure what's going on. I tell you what. People in this area, they're all just a bunch of decrepit, disgusting, Individuals. You're not wrong. I see some weird shit go on that way. That hotel's a cesspool for crime and inbred activity. I don't really know. I think I, I see you. Are you Green Brown. Yep. Uh -oh. You see me in the distance, yeah? Yeah, I believe I do. Okay. Raiden, I think the police are looking for me. There might be a warrant out. I'll be fine. I'm not worried about that. It's not a concern. But the mission is... The Colonel, I'm afraid his, his age state, he's old and decrepit, he had to take a nap, but the mission's still a go. Oh, no. We're gonna need a third, 
Someone that can handle this mission. Someone well trained. Someone we both trust with our lives. I have an idea. Smart, huh? I'm open for recommendations. I've got a couple of guys that might fit the bill. I've done some jobs with them recently, but I haven't known them for long. I was wondering who you would recommend. Well, I suppose I'd have to look on my contact list and see who I could trust. Well, if no name comes to mind immediately, it's already a concern. Let me reach out to my guy. We'll get this moving. The only other problem that we're waiting on is, I can't get in contact with the target. He might still be in solitary confinement. They only let him out for a short two-hour window per day. It's pretty rare in the first place. No, he needs to reach out no. to me so that we know that he's available. We'll never get him if he's in solitary. We have to get him while he's in the yard. Hmm. I might know somebody who's qualified, but I don't know if they'd be into this. Well, if they're not willing to throw away everything, risk it all, to save the entire city, then they're not the man for the job. I suppose you're right. Let me reach out to my guy. I think we can make it work. I don't want you to be waiting on me okay. too long. But we won't be able to move. How long are you going to be in the city? Likely a few more hours. Good. I plan on being here at least four, five more hours tops. If you're going to be here for several hours, we can make this work. We're going to need about an hour for the mission, probably. Right. But once everything gets in motion, it'll start moving pretty quick. I'll reach out. I'll get our third. And as soon as the contact he gets in touch, Bovice, that is, I'll reach out. Mission will be a go. Very well. Sounds like a plan. Best of luck in the meantime. Try to release some of that stress. You seem tense. Yeah, just a little bit. Well, don't worry. That kind of anxiety can carry you through the battlefield. But you already knew that. Yep, I'm planning on it. I'll see you around, Shut soldier. Up. Until next time. Hey, if we shoot up here, will the cops come? I don't know. I mean, I could, we could just say we have a just a pistol. I don't know. Hey, if they do come, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, I'll take them off for you, and you get away with the gun. I don't think it's worth the risk. Let's try. Oh! I got the bud. This shit's nice. Oh yeah, this shit's real fucking good. How much is it? Thirty bolts and equipped too. Nice and steady. Not yes. a lot of weak core shoots fast. How much How you much sell this for? Uh I think I'm gonna do those oh, at twenty. God. Maybe maybe eighteen. Yeah, I think eighteen will be perfect. How much is the Uzis? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. I don't I don't have access to those. This feels like a hybrid carbine. You wanna give it a feel, Big G? Okay. Where, where are all the birds now when you want them? Yeah, I know, right? Yo, yo! Uh, can I take one round of ammo? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Right That's why I brought it for you. Ah, oh, yeah, how you doing, brother? Everything good with the operation? The operation went smoothly. So smoothly, in fact, that I'd like you for another job, if you're up for it. Okay, we can get a job going. What you need this time? We'll have to meet in private. The details, they're very sensitive. But I just need to know that you're available. It's going to be a big mission. You might have to get your hands dirty. Oh, I'm available, and I'm ready to get my hands dirty. You want to ping me the location when you're ready? How about this? Oh Go somewhere God. secure, somewhere you can confirm no one's listening. 
Take me there. I'll meet you. Seventy-four. All right. Seventy-four. All right. I'll be in contact shortly. All right. I'll see you soon. So I went on this mission yesterday nice. with some guy. Um, it was me, Wendy, and Bob. It was an odd, very odd mission, but the reward was pretty good. We got a shotgun, five pistols, some other supplies, and I believe oh, shit. it was like three thousand dollars. Holding on to it. He just called me again. He wants to meet alone, so I'm gonna need you to hide in the bush or something. Can I pop in the trunk? No, no. In the bush or something. Okay, can you at least offer, like, ask if you, I could come along? Yeah, once I, I'm just gonna hear what the mission is. If we don't like it, we don't accept it. If we like it, we'll accept it. Okay. I could chill out for a bit, get a car, and then you take care of it. See the mission. I'm gonna tell him to meet right here. I'll go up. Yeah, you just hide up up top. Tell him to come. Yeah, just chill. And hopefully he doesn't see me here. Where are you? Uh, look up to the... You see the oh, stairs? Oh, I see you. Like, yeah, just way down. Yeah, I'm behind you. Oh, my God. Hopefully he doesn't come the other way where you can see me, you know? Yeah, way down. I don't see you. Yeah, yeah. Safe travels, huh? So far, so good. No tail. Um, we should be all right here. There's a lot of noise going on, so people can't hear our conversations. We should be nice and secure. That's good. All right. I'm going to brief you. Before I start, what do you know about the name Bovice? Bovice. He's been locked up in jail for uh, a long time, and I actually saw him the other day. He was telling me about some pretty crazy stuff. Do you consider him an ally? We have a good relationship together, for sure. I need to break him out. And I've got a plan. Uh, are you the guy he was talking about? Because he was telling me about some crazy plan that's going down. I told him I got his back. It's possible. <sighs> it's going to be hard, long, girthy. But I think with the right team, we can do it. I've got another man on retainer. I trust him. He's a good soldier. It would be me, you, the third man. And then Bovice, he'd be our fourth. Ah, perfect. I like it. Let me walk you through it. I want to make sure you're comfortable first. If it's something you're not down for, just let me know. You're not committing to anything. I'm all ears. Well, I've talked to a few people around town. Apparently this has been attempted before. It didn't go well. The difference between my plan and theirs is, they wanted to go in guns blazing. Something about taking down the power grid, assault rifles, murdering half the police force. I plan on going in and out without setting off a single alarm. No one asks a question. Here's the plan. I get in contact with Bovice. I tell him the mission to go. At that point, he's gonna feign appendicitis. He's gonna act like he's in complete agony, pain, on the ground screaming. The local police will be the first to arrive. They'll ask him if he's okay. He won't even be able to respond. He'll be screaming and screaming in pain. They'll get concerned. They'll call the local EMS. The EMS will be en route. The police will be expecting the EMS. That's the main key. Our job is gonna be to intercept the ambulance en route. At that point, there's two paramedics, A and B. Paramedic A, the driver, she's got senior authority. Paramedic B, 
There's a new guy in town. Matt Jackson. A lot of people haven't even encountered him yet. He's fresh. I'd assume his position. We'll take them both out the ambulance. And this is the key part. It needs to be clean. We need to extract them from the ambulance without them getting in contact on the radio with the police. So that's going to be the hard part. That's where you come in. Once we get them out, we're going to instruct both paramedics as to what's going on. Matt Jackson, the new guy, the rookie. He'll stay with you. You'll keep him secure in the meantime. I'll be in disguise. I'll assume his position. We'll tell paramedic A, the female, what's going on. She's to go inside, and she's to instruct the police that bovice requires immediate medical intervention. Invasive surgery, appendicitis, it's already burst. The infirmary won't cut it. We have to load him on the ambulance and take him to pillbox. They'll probably be hesitant, but even if they take him, they'll likely want to escort us. That's not too much of a problem. The hard part's getting him out the gate. Once we're out the gate, the police will probably realize something's up. At that point, it's just a matter of getting away. All right, this plan, so you're not even gonna worry about anything else? Not, no breaking in, no. no killing cops? A simple grab and go? And escape like that point? Exactly. Stealth mission. I like this plan, I like this plan a lot. I'm curious, a man with your training, do you see any holes? You think it could work? The only thing that could fall apart is if the EMS don't comply. Now, if the cops try to tell the EMS just to take him to the uh, prison uh, hospital, the infirmatory, we have to make it very clear to the EMS that they have to express that he needs higher care in a right. better facility. We should be all right. Exactly. Immediate medical intervention. That's the key. We'll instruct paramedic A to tell the police he must go for invasive surgery. The infirmary is in a sterile environment, equipped for invasive surgery like that. He needs a specialist. No questions. As long as she's adamant about it, you know, maybe gets a little bit of an attitude. They'll have to comply. They can't go against medical advice after all. That would be true. All right, and when's this plan uh, going down today? As soon as I get in contact with Bovice. That's all I'm waiting on right now. It's the last key. Me in. Do we have, right. have around? Yeah, our third's around. I just want you to be aware of what's going on, so that whenever I call you, we can get things going. I'm waiting on Bovice right. to go into the yard. Right now he's in solitary confinement, as far as I can tell. He's not answering his calls. I smuggled him in a cell phone. He went into solitary yesterday. He tried to attack, uh, Kale. Officer Kale. It's coming. I'm a professional. What the Susan? fuck? Surprise, motherfucker! What was no. that, sir? No, 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 no! Don't reach! Don't you fucking reach, sir! Don't you fucking reach! Surprise, motherfucker! You going into solitary? How about that ass face? Oh, oh, bogus, thinks he can jump fuck you, Susie! <laughs> what a crazy bastard, dude! Uh, you're an imbecile, sir. You gonna pay for this, Susie? Remember I ain't this. paying for nothing. That no, was free of charge. All right, get the fuck out of here. Don't go running in jail. Yes, sir. Okay, well, uh, it's Danny's time for you reflexes. to go into solitary confinement for the rest of the night. Congratulations, you have run into the best law enforcement person on the planet. You're the most awful motherfucking pig ever. You're fucked up. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here before he puts the fucking, you know, puzzle together. <laughs> Come on! Exercise! Damn. That's what it was. The mission was almost to go yesterday. He called back and said he was being moved. We had to cancel. But, I think today's the day. That EMS I spoke of, Matt Jackson, he's on duty right now. But there is another problem. There's some kind of a superior officer He's driving around in a truck. I can see him being a problem. If the EMS respond to the prison, and he comes in afterward, things could get weird. Let's get in contact with our third. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with Bovice, but I just need to know that you're in and that you're ready. I'm could in, happen I'm at waiting. any time. All right. Well, in that case, I'll be in contact soon. All right, sounds good. 
See you later, soldier. How'd it go? He, um... He wants to break Bobais out of jail. The hell? No, we ain't doing that shit. How? Well... Uh, it's a pretty good prank that Bob's an EMS tricking the, you know... Tricking that, uh, Bobais is super hot and getting him out of there. Gave us this. Who is this? Some same guy as yesterday. Do you know who that is or not? 